Our in-depth campaign 2010 coverage continues now with more on Russ Feingold looking to earn a fourth term by positioning himself as an outsider willing to oppose his own party. Here's News 3's David Douglas with more. When Senator Russ Feingold walks in, his supporters cheer, but he's less popular in Congress, where he voted against the Wall Street bailout plan and was the only senator to vote against the Patriot Act, which authorized otherwise illegal wiretaps in the name of national security. I have lived up in every single way to the ideal that Wisconsinites have held out for their public officials. An ideal, he says, is integrity, doing what's right, even when it might not be popular. Case in point, Feingold is one of just a handful of legislators in the country running an ad touting his vote for health care reform. You know, I, I play this game straight. I don't try to hide the ball, ever. Uh, if I vote for something, I stand by it. The 57-year-old senator bristles when asked why insurance premiums are still climbing and insurers are telling policyholders health care reform is the reason why. He points out the legislation is years from being fully implemented, yet he says he's not interested in a single-payer system, which would be the government takeover of health care, opponent Ron Johnson says is coming. No, I honestly don't think that's where we're heading. I think this country has strong resistance to going with an entirely governmental approach. There are many people who would like that. Many of my supporters would like uh, to go with that. But I think the overall inclination in the country is to not go that route. When questioned on the stimulus, Feingold says it is working, providing a tax cut for 95% of Americans and creating nine consecutive months of private sector job growth. He says more is needed, proposing a broader jobs tax credit, giving employers a 15% break on payroll taxes for each new hire. This year's deficit is five times bigger than 18 years ago. And he says claims he has not been a deficit hawk just aren't true. For fine gold, balanced budgets in the Clinton years prove it. The only thing that happened is Bush came in and he completely threw it out the window. The three-term senator has never won by a landslide margin. And even a race this tight doesn't scare him. I just absolutely love, love the place, love the people, and uh, like to keep working for them. <laughs> it's as simple as that. For Campaign 2010, David Douglas, WISC News 3.